We're back at Glacier National Park. See my sweatshirt. Anyway, we're back at Glacier National Park, uh, like the first vlog or second vlog, and we're out here to just um, have a good old time. There's my dad. Hey. Anyway, we're gonna have a great time today. We're just gonna look around at some waterfalls and some things like that. Um, but thanks for watching the video. Hi, so we have reached the waterfall now, and that sun, the sun is really bright. Never mind. We're not at a waterfall like I thought we were. We're just at a regular uh, stream, river thing. Bella told me she wanted a rock. Oh, okay. I asked what she wanted from Montana, and she goes, I want a rock. So, go that way. I think these rocks are pretty good, huh? Oh, look at this one. I'm looking for a rock that's a heart. That's what we're getting Bella. Come on, the hunt for, for a purple heart. Find a heart one. I've been sitting with my camera off stabilization, so I have no idea how shaky this is. So I apologize for the last three vlogs that I assume have been mad shaky and like really tiresome to watch. Anyway, welcome to like the forest. <laughs> this is a, a Otis, Oda, 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 uh, Cassini. Oda Tassacchini. <laughs> That's not what <laughs> Can we take her this blue rock as a gift? Look at the little baby Christmas tree. Look at it right there. Okay, so I just got a really cool photo of the waterfall, um, but I gotta show you the uh, waterfall before I show you the photo. Give me just a second, I, find, I gotta find the best spot. I gotta find the best spot to show you actually the waterfall. This waterfall is absolutely insane. It's super beautiful. This water is perfect to jump into. I really wanna jump in this water really, really, really bad. It's so clear, you can see all the way to the bottom. So I think we're gonna follow the same strategy as we did two days ago in that vlog, because at Glacier there's a lot of stops. One, two, three, four, eight, nine, twelve. So we're gonna do this as stop one, and now we're off to stop two. Well, this is the next stop. Beautiful lake. This is stop two. There's a bee flying around over here that keeps attacking me. And he does not want to leave me alone. It's really annoying. Like that. There he is. <laughs> I just had to run from the bee. Just chase me. It's so stupid. I hate bees. I've had like six encounters with bees on this trip so far. <laughs> it never stops. I, I know, right? <laughs> I'm still on the hunt to get Bella more rocks. I'm trying to go above and beyond the rock amount so that she can have like a ridiculous amount. She only asked for one, but I'm getting all of my favorite ones and my family's helping me grab them, so we're getting a lot of rocks, but I'm gonna look in the lake for some cool ones. This whole space is absolutely gorgeous and Again, like I said yesterday, I'm really happy to be here. And boy, this is a crazy trip. Absolutely insane. Okay, I think you guys have seen enough of stop two. Now on to stop three. Okay, so we've arrived at spot number three for the day. Um, and it's just like an overlook of this big area. Hey mom, have you enjoyed it? It's great. Get enjoyed away, your trip? Get away from me. <laughs> she doesn't trust me, she thinks I'm a pusher or something. This is spot number three. Anyway, this is gorgeous out here. Absolutely, ooh, camera's falling. This tripod's not working out. I have this little tripod and I've had it for a while and the ball head is just uh, starting to get loosened up. So it won't hold like the big rig that I have on here right now. It only holds the little one and I kind of screwed it up because it was too heavy. This is what happens when I hold it by the tripod. Anyway, we're headed back to the house now. We're gonna go eat some food um, and get a good night's sleep tonight because we do have a lot of walking that we're gonna be doing tomorrow. One last look at this view before we uh, head over to the house.
Okay, so we're going on day five of actually being here in Montana, but this is part of the same vlog. I just didn't have the footage to make an individual vlog each day. Okay, I'm underneath like a truck uh, right now because there's so much wind outside uh, and I, there's still a lot of wind. So I apologize for this next clip and the next few clips that are going to have a lot of wind in them. I apologize. It's going to be absolutely insane. At least to me, it was insane. I don't know how it came across on camera, but I know the wind was absolutely insane. So anyway, uh, I will, yeah, just the wind is coming. <laughs> Oh, oh. Camera I keep there. dropping my phone everywhere. Oh no. My dad said to put my point my camera up top of the mountain and he's gonna start pointing and then people are gonna stop and ask what we're pointing at. That tree. Where at? Where at? Where at? We got out of Glacier National and now we're in Many Glacier, um, which is M A N Y Glacier. Um, don't know why it's not called Many Glaciers, but it's not. And we're going to. <laughs> and we're, we're going to a waterfall. We've been seeing these caterpillars everywhere. This color and everything. I really want to touch it, but what if it kills me or something? I don't know. This is gorgeous. Holy crap. This is insane. And then there's another one right there. We were trying our hardest to get right here in this area, and we literally couldn't for the life of us. But there's a huge gap right there in between those two spots, so we couldn't actually get across. Which sucks, but it was beautiful up there for sure. We explored that spot through and through. <laughs> Worn out, I'll tell you that. My mom's been looking for bighorn sheep for this whole trip. And we have not seen a single one. We see signs for them. People telling us, oh yeah, we saw one. But we don't see any, ever. We've yet to. We were just about to take a picture in front of the national park sign. And then we get out of the car and I go, does anybody else hear that? And my mom's like, I do. And I was like, oh yeah. We have a hole in our tire. So now we're looking for a tire repair kit and hopefully there is one. So they didn't have one, but now we're going to the supermarket to go see if they have a tire repair kit. Because if they don't, that means we need to switch to the spare, which then means we have to drive on the spare for the next day. So it kind of puts us in an awkward situation a little bit. <laughs> and tell them we have a flat tire? I mean, there might be hours before you get somebody out here to... So they didn't have one, but we're gonna ask some people around and see if they have a patch kit because we need to patch the tire. <laughs> so we asked people if they didn't have one, so now we're just gonna change it. That's what's about to happen. Now that the tire's been changed, now it's time to take the picture. <laughs> we got the picture! So this next section is like one of the biggest deals to me and to my parents. So I've never seen a grizzly bear before, but they've never seen a grizzly bear on this trip. So we've been wanting to see it for the last five days of this trip, but never have. And the story is absolutely amazing. So let's cut back to day five of Montana. Well, we finally saw the grizzly. Literally, we had a flat tire. We got the tire repaired. And then now, as we're driving back, we see the grizzly. If, if, if our tire wouldn't have gone flat or wouldn't have popped or whatever it did, we would have never saw the grizzly. So that's absolutely wild. I'm happy we got to see it. Mom, how do you feel? Great. You happy? Chased him halfway down. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, she was running after the bear. <laughs> it was beautiful. Here's the video, by the way. Hi, so I just finished editing the entire Montana series, and boy, was it a blast. All the videos in the series turned out exactly like I wanted them to and it was just an overall amazing experience both 
in Montana and then looking back on Montana and all the footage that I had. These four videos were ridiculous and they were a blast to edit, a blast to film, and I definitely love doing travel videos. It's an absolute blast. Every time I go out of my home city, my home state, and go to a different place to film a vlog, it is just an in incredible experience and I have a blast doing it every single time that I do it. A lot of work and time and effort went into these videos, so I would appreciate it if any of you guys that are watching would drop a like and consider subscribing um, because my plan is to roll out content like this all the time and have a blast doing it. Like I said, it was an incredible experience and I enjoyed every single second of this entire trip. This is the last video of the entire trip, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and share with your friends if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video. But it's not gonna be a Montana video, it'll be Vlogmas. Anyway, thank you for watching. Peace out, and roll the outro.